there's an easier way to send automated email reminders for contract expirations than learning how to code a bunch of stuff in AppScript. Sure, you can do that, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy way where you don't even have to leave the comfort of your favorite spreadsheet. We're going to be looking at Lido today. Lido is a program that basically lets my data live here in a Google Sheet or other data source that I'm used to, the master copy of it, and then I pull it into Lido, which is itself, check it out, a spreadsheet. And we form a table in this green section over here from the master data that, boom, it's protected. I can't update that. It's only reading from my Google Sheet. And we can do some manipulations on it to set up some custom functions in Lido that write just like, check this out, it's just like we're used to writing functions and formulas in Google Sheets. And then we can set up automations, in this case, to send reminder emails according to a certain date and due date. We're going to build all this together right now real quick because it's not that difficult. Lido can be free or paid depending on what you need it to do. They have a few different pricing tiers, as is pretty common, but you can do what we're about to do with the free plan. So check them out if you're curious only. There's a link in the description that'll help the channel out if you do choose to get some of the paid features. Back here in Lido, once you do sign up for free or whatever, you'll have a dashboard here and we're going to create a new file. Right out of the gate, we're just sitting here in a spreadsheet. So let us name it Demo2. Let's go over here into our Google Sheet where all we have are four columns. We're just using the client contact, email, due date, and whether or not it's paid. We have just a basic data set. We're going to copy the URL for this. We're going to connect data in Lido. And as you can see, there's a lot of different sources where we can connect data from. We're going to use Google Sheets. I've already connected my account. If you need to add your account, then you paste the URL in here and it'll uh, toggle you through some permissions but I'm gonna just select my account, paste in this URL, click next, and it'll show a preview of the data. Only, hey, where's the data? So what it's doing is pulling the title tab, because I have a title sheet on my spreadsheet, instead of this Lido tab. So over on the left, you can see title, change that to Lido. You can even uh, specify a range, but in our case, it's going to pull all the data because all we have is the data we need. We're going to select add data. And I like this right out of the gate because Google Sheets doesn't let you make tables. You can format stuff so it looks like a table, but it won't let you actually do this, create a table like Microsoft Excel does. So this is pretty cool. And you'll see uh, as specified by the green shading, this is our master data from over in Google Sheets. And what we want to do is create a few things of our own. So we cannot alter this because that is from our master data, but we can create a new column. And we're gonna create the first one, reminder email. This is gonna be a computed column. So this is gonna be computed based on one of these other columns. I'm gonna say, just like I would in Excel or in Google Sheets, equals due date, minus, let's say, three days. And boom, it fills it down just like you want it to, just like Excel does. So the next couple pieces that I want, I, I want to be able to template an email. And so to do that, I'm going to click up here to sheet one. And this is just a blank sheet in our workbook. And I'm going to say subject and body. This is just going to be where I hold my templates. And I've already uh, written these elsewhere. And I'm just going to copy and paste them in here. And what this will allow me to do is use these two cells in our actual sheet for the automation over here. Let me show you. So we got subject, computed column, and we're gonna use a built-in function called string template. So string template, we use, in this case, this is the string template for the subject line. We're gonna use this cell right here. And the templated part of it is this bracketed part where we've got bracket at contact. So I'm gonna click enter and oh, I forgot to lock it in place. Did I mean A2 with the dollar signs? Yes, I did. So Lido is also pretty smart and uh, catches some user errors like that for us. So now that's grabbing this contact column and it's filling in the value in that bracketed part of our template. So it now says Leo your contract, Donnie your contract, etc. 
in the same manner, we're going to use a computed column here for the body. We're going to use string template. We're going to go over here and grab our body. And we're going to remember to hit F4 this time because we do want it locked in place. And now we've got the body of our email. Okay, I'm going to text wrap these and then just make them a little bit more narrow. And there's the two pieces of our email that we're going to use right here. In this, we're going to actually make a send email column. It's going to be computed. And we've got another send email built-in custom function. The first time you set this up, you'll have to add your email address, your Gmail address, and toggle through the permissions so that it has permission to do this. But then once you do, you select your address, you select the recipient email, which is over here in C2. You select the subject, which is right here that we generated with our template, the body in the same way with our template, and then an optional status cell that I'm just gonna use J2. And you'll see what that does in just a moment. So this takes the templates that we set up and then it computes what our email is going to actually look like. And we can click these three little dots in the top and preview it in an actual pop-up like Gmail would look. You can say, hey, that looks pretty good. And, you know, we can just send it from right there. Now, here's this success message living in J2. That was that optional parameter, this uh, last parameter we used. There's other optional parameters as well that I'm not going to get into in this video, but the status cell is nice to have. In case there is an error, we can just call it out right there. So status, I'm going to select linked column for that, and then I'm going to link it to something over here in our original data that is unique, so the contact in our case. Now, let's see if it actually sent the email. Boom. Here's the one that just sent zero minutes ago. There's the email. Pretty cool. Let's go back here and automate some things. Hey, let's pause for a second and do the normal routine. If you're finding value here, can you like this video? I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. It helps me grow here on YouTube. Also, there's that link in the description to Lido if you'd like to check them out. now. Let's get back to the video. Because we don't want to actually run this every time that we need it to run. We want this to be based upon a date. That's why we have the reminder email column. So let's take all this and cut it and write an if statement. So this is just going to say, hey, if today, today's a built-in function, that's not specific to Lido, that's in Google Sheets too. If today is equal to the reminder email, email date, then comma, we send the Gmail. Okay, and that's going to paste this down. And now you can see all these are false because today is not 4-1 or 3-29 or 3-26. But today, as I record this, it is 4-2. So it's got this one ready to send. Now let's go up here to automations. You can get to it in this big automations button. You can uh, add column automation straight from the cell. But either way, we're going to automate a column. We're going to select the table, the Lido demo. We're going to select the send email column. And then we're going to select every one day because in our case, for this use case, we don't want these sending multiple times every time it checks. If, if we checked every five minutes and set up a minute by minute automation, that wouldn't work very well. Donnie would get pretty irritated getting all those reminder emails. So the time is 9.51. So I'm going to say 9.55. Today, we're going to run that automation. And as you saw, whoops, don't delete it. As you saw up here, it's got time to next run right up there. I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll watch it do its work. And we're back and it's saying next run is tomorrow at 9.55. Over here, we've got a history log and it's going to show, hey, success. This actually went through. Again, this is another space in addition to the space right over here in our column J where it's going to display the success or failure message as the case may be. Over here in our email, here's our message just like we wanted it to be. Now, one other thing I'll show you how to do, we've got the Lido branding down here. It's going to do that if you're on the free plan. You know, it's a pretty common practice, but if you do get one of the paid versions, you can go over here to the top left corner, down to settings, and turn off that display Lido branding. 
One other thing to note, what happens if you put more info into your spreadsheet, into your master data sheet? Well, you can go over to Lido, edit the data, bring that in automatically or manually rather, or you can leave this automation running because every time the automation runs, in this case, it's scheduled to run every day as we've set it up. It will pull in any new Google Sheet rows. It'll update the Lido spreadsheet cell values to depict the current state of the Google Sheet, and it will auto send the emails that need to be sent. So in our case, I've updated this sheet with another line with my name in it. I'll adjust the time so that we run this automation here in just a moment. Now the automation is running up here and we should see our cells populate with the new data down on row seven in our Lido workbook. And there's our new row of data. We can check our history log here and we've got success messages, which is what we like to see. We've also got that in the J column and over in our email, here is the email to myself. So Lido does let you just set it and forget it as far as these automated reminders go. Let me know if you'd like me to make another video on some of the advanced parameters over here in the send Gmail or on some of the other features, what other use cases you might need Lido to solve for you. And also, would you like to see the hard version where I program all of this from scratch using just app script in a vanilla Google Sheet file? Let me know, like this video, subscribe to the channel, all those things. Appreciate you. Bye.